What's up, guys? I just wanted to send a quick shout out to my buddy Charles Shambaugh. I was at the Monaghan Fishing Show over the weekend. If you weren't following along there with some of the video feeds we were doing, uh, Charles hooked me up with this. If you ever see me doing much winter fishing, you'll notice that I typically use hair jigs. And most of the ones I use, Charles makes himself. Uh, hooked me up with a bunch of them here for uh, the Susky Shark and me to use. Uh, for instance, uh, there's some black, purple marabou. These are uh, one eighth uh, ounce size. Uh, these, check this out, guys. These are beautiful. So if you're fishing, especially for smallmouth, say the Susquehanna River in the winter time, uh, this is an awesome color and it has an amazing action. You can see just how soft it is on the bottom as you're slow slow, slowly jigging that along the bottom. So again, that's like a purple and black. Again, Charles, thanks for these. Uh, this is awesome. Beautifully tied. And again, that just gorgeous, gorgeous hair jig there. So again, that's a, a black and purple one there. As you can see, marked on there. Uh, eighth ounce. Uh, black and olive marabou. This is awesome. So if you're uh, mimicking a, a crawfish pattern, for instance, check that out. Nice. Awesome color combination. What else did he set us up with here? An eighth in a brown copper marabou. Check this out. Uh, another awesome pattern for the Susquehanna. Nice. And again, this is so soft. So you can imagine, even with little or no current, the action on these is going to be amazing. And it's just basically going to freak out the smallies. And they're going to want to just hammer these things. So again, eighth. This one's a uh, black and blue marabou. Beautiful. That's really cool. Cool combination there. And finally, you can't ever go wrong with white, right? You know, especially in the river, muddy, go with dark colors. Uh, a lot of people say if you want to go in the, especially in the Susky for uh, muskies, White often works, especially white spinner baits. But uh, there's your white. Can't go wrong with the white. Again, it's going to look like a small bait fish of some sort, possibly a uh, bug, especially if there's some type of hatch going on. Again, one eighth in marabou with a tied red head on it, too. Give it kind of that like bleeding gill kind of look on that. I want to give a holler out to, to Charles of these. This is awesome. And it was great seeing you again, buddy, at uh, at the show down at Monaghan. If you guys ever get a chance, say, next year in January, it's one of the first shows of the year, uh, go down. It's in Dillsburg, not far off Route 15, uh, down that way, and go to the Monaghan Fishing Show. It's a great cause, too. Uh, it goes to support the fire department down at the firehouse. But they have some awesome stuff, and especially you can get in there early on Saturday when they open the doors. All of the vendors have all sorts of crazy cool stuff, antique stuff, you name it. Uh, Lila looks typically for artwork. They've got the uh, you know, trout pond that they set up every year, so that's a really cool show. And, of course, Charles is out there selling his stuff, too, all sorts of cool stuff there. And, you know, a lot of my other buddies there, like 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 Mike Kozlowski and a bunch of other guys, you know, Juan's there, I'm there, the Heroes in the Waters guys are there. I can't even name everybody, but a big shout-out to, to Bob Stahl and his crew there for setting that up and his family Every year, awesome event. It's a blast. It's not super intimidating. It's just, you know, a small kind of flea market environment with some really good seminars. Like I said, Rod Bates is there doing all his type of talk too, uh, especially talking about catfishing. I mean, that guy's amazing. If you're down in the Harrisburg area for catfish, check him out. But a uh, really good crew there every year. It's kind of like a family. It's almost like a reunion every year we go down there. But again, Charles, uh, thanks for being there and bringing these out. Uh, we'll definitely get these out. So when you guys see me using a hair jig in the water, typically his, uh, sometimes I use those synthetic ones that I tie up myself and I'm using a little bit heavier jig and say some deeper water. But uh, for the action, when you're trying to get something like a reactionary bite out of a smallie, 
His stuff here, his marabous are just amazing. But thanks, Charles, and thanks, everybody, for watching. For those that got out to the show, it was a blast. Great seeing you guys. Thanks for supporting the fire department down there in Monaghan. Uh, if you guys need anything from me, feel free, of course, to give me a holler. Give us that thumbs up. Post up if you want to try to get out in the water. Give us a shout out, too, because, you know, Nick and I are still catching quite a few fish, even on the Susky. Uh, as long as we can get around the ice, we can still convince them to bite. So uh, thanks for watching. Give us that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet to the Fish Hacker YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.